Hey guys, today's episode is going to be super useful. We're going to dive into a powerful AI coding tool that everybody interested in making an app with AI should know about, and that's Claude Code. In the next 10 minutes, we'll go over what Claude Code is, how to set it up, and I'll even show you how you can use Claude Code to make your very first iOS app. So what is Claude Code? Claude Code is an agentic coding tool that you can access through the terminal. It allows you to code with your natural language. And for me, that's English. It's not an IDE like Cursor or Windsurf, but more like an agent that can directly interact with your files. To use Claude Code, you will need an Anthropic account and you will need the Pro plan at least, which is $17 per month. But to use it with an advanced model like the Claude Opus 4, you will need to subscribe to the Max plan, which is around $100 to $200 a month, depending on which one you get. To get started, I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm using a Mac right now to bring up the terminal. I'm just going to command space to bring up spotlight search and type terminal. Now that the terminal is open, you can copy this command and pasting it onto here. By running this installation command, they will prompt you to log in or sign up for an account on Anthropics console. I've already set it up, which is why it's not prompting me. The next step you'll want to do is create a folder where you want your app to be. Go into my finder, create a folder and a name this hello world app. Once you've done that, go to the terminal and CD into the folder. Now that you're in this folder, you're ready to call Claude. To run Claude code, simply call the Claude. Type in this command and say yes, proceed. You will see this. Welcome to Claude Code. So now you're officially in Claude Code and you'll see tips for getting started. It tells you that you can either ask Claude to create a new app or clone a repo. You can use Claude to help with files, editing, bash commands and Git. It's gonna ask you to be as specific as you would with another engineer for the best results. Or you could do slash terminal setup to set up terminal integration. But there are a lot of useful command. You can go into this reference section of the document documentation and there's a list of them. I'm just going to go over the major ones to get you started. You can always go in under references in the documentations to see the full list of them. The first one that I think is really useful is slash init, which initializes in Claude.md file with code base documentation. So it's looking at my code base. There's nothing in it yet, but I just want this kick it. it will say the directory appears to be empty and it's okay because we're gonna tap number three and tell claude what to do another really useful command is slash model which you could set the model for me because i'm only paying for the 19 dollar plan so i only have access to sonnet it's okay we'll stick with this for now because it still works what i'm gonna do is show you that you can switch between the planning mode versus the kind of execution mode so if you hit shift tap, you can go to a plan mode. So the plan mode on with this, you can get Claude to be your product manager or the designer to help you plan your app, paste in a command. I'm also going to drop a screenshot into my terminal, which looks like this for my first hello world app. My prompt is you're an award winning designer and full stack developer. I want you to make a kawaii next.js hello world web app for people who watch my YouTube channel and say thank you for subscribing. So because this is the plan mode, Claude is going to plan out this whole project. In one of my previous video, I also talked about a task manager, but with Claude code, they do it for you. If you've worked with engineers before, you know that a project, you need to break it down into smaller tasks so then they can complete it in a reasonable time period and they can check it and make sure things work before pushing. Because if you give the engineer a super big task that has a lot of subtasks to it and you don't break it down, then things could get missed. So this is exactly what Claude is doing. It's breaking down tasks into smaller phases. This looks good to me. So I'm going to click one. We'll see what Claude comes out with. Claude is implementing the Kawaii Next.js thank you app. Begin by setting up the project structure and then build the adorable design step by step. There is a YOLO mode, which is number two. Don't ask again and then just build it for me. So I'm going to hit the YOLO mode so then it will just run on its own. It's installing some Next.js for me. With YOLO mode, I'm just letting Claude code do its thing. And if you want to, you can actually open up cursor, select open project. You can open this in an IDE like cursor, see all the files that Claude has created over here. 
So you can view that the app is being made right now and that Claude code is adding new code. You can also edit Claude code directly within the terminal in cursor by just bringing this panel up. Now you can see that they're starting the development server. For some reason, it's not running. So I'm going to do npm run. Now I can open up and voila. Here's my page. Hello, YouTube friends. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already, please do so. <laughs> you can even visit my channel over here through this link, which links you to my channel page. So this is basically pretty much how you get started with Claude Code. This is how you use it. You use it through the terminal. And if you want, you can also use an IDE like cursor and using it on the terminal because you could just say Claude and it will run over here and you can type the same thing and work with Claude within cursor or windsurf or whatever your preferred IDE is. Okay, we're ready for more hands-on time. We're going to make an iOS app that allows you to schedule push notifications for yourself so you can make sure you don't forget important tasks for the day. You're first going to download and install Xcode if you haven't already. You can also watch one of my previous videos on how to make iOS apps that's more in depth. But opening up Xcode, you will click create a new project, select app, click next, and then I'm going to name this app day push. Click next, and you're just going to create a new folder. Xcode will automatically create some projects for you. Open up your terminal, terminate the previous project, and then open up terminal again. This time I'm going to CD into this project, which is day push. So I'm going to CD into this project. And what I'm going to do is hit Claude. So remember that's step two. And now you have welcome to Claude code because these two are now connected, the X code and Claude. The first thing I'm going to do is hit slash init. And this is my process of making an app. And then I'm going to hit yes, please create it. Okay. So they created Claude MD with essential information about the Swift architecture and development commands. Now I'm going to hit shift tab to go into plan mode and I'm going to paste in my prompt of what I want it to build. I'm going to tell it to create a project plan. This is what I want to build. Drag some of the pre-designed screenshots over here into the terminal. So you could just drag it in here, drop all the photos and it will reference these. So now it's designing, scheduling and breaking down tasks. Allow Claude to read the images. Now Claude is designing and I'm still on the plan mode. Would you like to proceed? You can either say yes or no. So I'm going to say yes. And notice that this changed to auto accept edits on. So I'm no longer in the plan mode. I'm in the execution mode now. It's starting to implement with the day push app according to the approved plan. These are the to do's. You can see our content view. You can see that there's starting to be things on here. There are some errors, but I'm not going to update those until the very end. But saying the implementation is complete and ready for testing. The build failed. This is expected. When you get an error, just copy it under the error panel and pasting it into Claude code. Okay, so let's see if it succeeds. And if it doesn't, you keep repeating the process. This is so crazy for me because a month ago I released a video on iOS development using cursor and there were so many steps to get cursor to build an iOS app. But with Claude code, this is so much more straightforward and so easy and it works so quickly that you can build an app right now. Okay. Now the build succeeded after Claude fixed a few bugs and we can view our app in a few ways. You can go to the content view and wait for it to load. You can run it over here. You can add a new day push and say, remember to smile and I'm going to set it to 614. So we wait one minute and say, can I not tap save? I'm going to run the app on my iPhone, but clicking save doesn't work. So this is like a little bit of a debugging. I think this is so cool. It's even adding debug logs on its own. Claude is definitely smarter than me. If there's errors, you can even get Claude to update and fix all the bugs. So Claude has created another plan to fix all the issues after I told it to evaluate the whole code base and figure out why my notification feature isn't working. And so now it's like a second plan to make sure they debug correctly. Now let's test our build after Claude is done fixing it. Okay. I see this notification. I'm going to grant this 
notifications capability. I set it to one minute later. I'm going to wait for one minute and see if this shows up. Oh, and it did. See, my notification showed up over here. Life is good. My app is definitely working at this moment. And all of this is done directly in Claude. It's so easy and so simple. Now that my app is working, I'm just going to do a final touch, which is to add an app icon. So then it doesn't look like this white square over here. So to do that, I'm going to go into the assets folder. I just added the assets and now you could see the custom message that I sent for myself. This app is completed and it's all done with Claude Code. I am really impressed with Claude Code and if you want to make an iOS app, this is the way to go. It's so much easier than before and it's just crazy to me how in a matter of weeks, how advanced the AI can get, how much better tools we get. So there's no excuse to not create with all the tools at your disposal. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.